Thank you for joining me for another Quick Hits Conversation. I'm Dr. Robin. With me today, I have Lisa McDonald. She is the founder of Career Polish, where she is an executive career coach and master mindset coach who helps people get career happy and life healthy. I have Stuart Wiggins with Induna Advisors, where he offers fractional chief operating officer services and brings resources together to help scale your business. And I have Mario P. Fields. He's a Marine Corps veteran, small business owner, and host and producer of the podcast, Unarmored Talk. The question I have today, do you think you are happy when you are productive? Are you productive when you are happy? Mario, what are your thoughts? Thank you, Dr. Robin, and it's good to see you again. It's a combination for me. Be before my recent uh, vacation to the hospital, I used to always believe that I was um, I had to be happy first and then improve my production. Mm -hmm. If I'm happy first, I'm going to perform well. The, the, the effort's going to be top notch and I'm going to be satisfied. But when I went into the hospital about 30 days ago, I couldn't even walk. So, so I was happy. After I was able to produce results by walking a few feet. And so therefore it reversed my belief system where productivity actually produced happiness. So it's very complex for me, but I've realized that uh, it's both and, um, and it changes daily for me. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations on, on walking again and, and a healthy recovery. So that's a story I think we need to hear at another time. For me, I think it depends on the situation. So if I have overloaded my tasker and I'm just like grinding through, I'm happy because I'm being productive. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, if it's something that I love doing and I get lost in it, I find that I'm more productive because I'm happy doing it. So mm -hmm. for me, it's kind of situational. Mm -hmm. I would agree, but I do take a different take on this. First question I would ask is what really is happiness though? Okay, how, how do you find what hap define what happiness is? You walk into the office every day and you leave your problems on the doorstep and you have this great demeanor and everybody sees that and they feed off of that, then you can make them productive. So is that productivity that you, the energy you give them, is that what makes you happy because you help them be productive? Or if you're on your own, do you uh, look at situations each one individually. I mean, you could come out of one meeting and be frustrated, but that doesn't mean you're unhappy. That just means that you have to approach it with a different can. So really what it is, I think, is are you a you yourself a happy person most of the time? I struggle with those that have these fluctuations of, you know, good mood, bad mood, mood, happy, not happy. I think that when you get up in the morning, you got to be happy that you woke up in the morning, approach each day like that, approach your projects like that, approach people like that. And I think you'll be happy all in all, given the givens, regardless of what the results are. If it's not mm -hmm. as successful, then what you do is you just reset and try it again. Uh, keep in mind, I've, heard, I've said this before, the greatest opportunities come from the greatest challenges. So having said that, approach each challenge as though this is an opportunity to succeed. That will define your happiness. Yeah, and I so, agree, Stuart. It, I love that because like you said, it's individually and it, I believe it's an emotion and only you can define that. It, and like you said, to wake up and look at a mirror and go, well, what is the emotion? What, what's meaningful to me? Is it consistent? Is, has it has changed. I think it changed. Maybe it changes with age. I think we change every day. But, but like you said, just gaining a better understanding of the person in the mirror. And what does that mean to you? And I'm wondering, so there are days where I just have a list and I'm powering through it. And at the end, I feel super accomplished. All right, I did my list. Yay me, <laughs> mark them all off. Is that happiness? Is that the same thing? Or is it, is happiness, I don't have anything on my list and I can go for a hike in the woods with my dog. And is that less productive would, than I marked off I would, my list? Then I would pitch to you, would you be, are you less happy because you don't have things to do that are related to work? So you, the default thing is to go walk the dog. And I'm not diminishing your comment. I'm just saying it goes back again to define happiness. Well, I can tell you for me, happiness is definitely not sitting on the couch doing nothing. So if I don't have a list, I'm going to go find something else. That's to why do. I said that. I know you well enough to know that just sitting there doing nothing would not accomplish the mission. Yeah. My husband says regularly, I'm not very good at relaxing. And I'm like, well, that depends upon what you count as relaxing. Maybe a nine mile hike is relaxing. I think so. What's right. wrong with that? 
I think there's different, I think there's different degrees or levels of happiness. I mean, the happiness that I feel, and it does make me happy when I, when I complete certain tasks, or especially if it's something that's important to me or important to my clients, it's a whole different type of happiness that I have when I'm with my grandson. Mm. So I think there's different types of happiness, whether you want to label it as happy or accomplished or fulfilled or what have you. I think it's just that feeling. And it, it ranges. And to your point, Stuart, I think it, it ranges. It's not a specific, defined, stagnant category, at least not for me. I don't feel like I have to be in this great mood to be productive. Like I have a list, I'm doing it. I'm annoyed. I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Is that just me? No. <laughs> no. And then, and then some people go, Mario, you smile a lot. You must be happy. I'm like, well, what do you mean by that? I do smile a lot, but that doesn't mean I'm happy all the time. It's complex. I like what Lisa said, passion. You could be productive and happy or or happy and productive. But what if you're in your passion and, and waking up every day and doing things that you're passionate about? Oh, my gosh, you'll forget to eat. You'll go to bed like it's midnight already. <laughs> wow. So but like you guys said, it's very complex. It's defined by the person, that individual, because what makes Lisa feel happy or whatever, I may go, or like Stuart with, with the you know the, the big budgets of the company, I might go, that's stressing me out. That's a lot of hard work and effort. <laughs> Let me be clear, that was not happiness. <laughs> not necessarily happiness, but you derive from different things. I mean, like I yeah. really enjoy to cook. I get happiness if somebody support, says that was a great meal. Or for example, Robin talked about taking the long hike. You can get happiness out of that. So it, it's just it, it, really happiness is when you think about it, it's the little things. It's the little things that you say at the end of the day, that was really the measure of my happiness that tomorrow could be something different. Yeah. But I mean, if you have this definition of your mind and what happiness is and you never achieve it, except for maybe once in a month, then I would say maybe you're not a happy person and then you should maybe recalibrate what happiness is to you. I think the same thing is true of productivity. I mean, Mario, at the top of this conversation, you said that 30 days ago, productivity for you is taking five steps. Yeah, right. And, and even just to stand, Dr. Robin, I couldn't believe at 47 years old, I can't even stand. I felt like, a. I mean, I'm short, so it's not far. I'm not far from the ground, but I, but I felt like I was a child again holding on to my wife and the in the nurse practitioner going, okay, let go of me, count down from 10. All right, I'm tired. I got to get in the bed. Mm -hmm. And so, but that was a productive day in the ICU that, that day was, and I felt so accomplished and happy that I was able to at least stand for 10 seconds. So you know, like Stuart and Lisa said, it changes situational based very complex. And I like what you know, Stuart and Lisa said too, to do some reflection too, you know, to mm -hmm. do some reflection and maybe, maybe kind of refine what does it mean to you? I think the other thing that we're saying too, is you can't judge your happiness or your productivity against anyone else. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a mistake people make. Have you ever observed someone, an adult, not so much a child, eat ice cream for the first time. I had a friend of mine that had, had sponsored some Afghan refugees and they had ice cream for the first time. And the look on their face, I will tell you, was the look of happiness. Because mm. they've never experienced that before and, and those types of flavors. So that's another example of what happiness could be. Now, is happiness pleasure? Maybe you're one and the same, I don't know. But I use that as an example that Robin's canting her head as though she's <laughs> trying to I gotta think about that. Happiness, happiness, pleasure. No, I think they're different things. I think pleasure leads to happiness. That could be another quick hits. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I think what we're saying, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. Are we saying then that sometimes being productive leads to happiness and sometimes happiness leads to productivity and it's not something that you can judge. It's an internal thing, not something that's external that you can judge against other people. I would, I would say, say that's but, it. Yeah, but don't make it transactional. Don't say, okay, well, I, you know, I accomplish this, I'm happy. If I don't accomplish this, I'm not going to be happy. Happiness is not transactional. Hmm. I think that's a great place to end this conversation. Happiness is not transactional. Love it. Thank you so much, y'all, for having this conversation with me. And I would be happy to have you on Quick Hits again soon. <laughs>